How can you make a Minecraft server in 2024? Well, we're going to show you exactly how, starting off by going to this link right here. This is the second link in the description down below. And this is actually our text guide on getting a Minecraft server, and Minecraft will have updates this year. We'll go from 1.20.4, which is the one now, to 1.20.1, and even sub-versions of that, and maybe even a 1.22. And if that happens, this article here will always be up to date. It's the second link down below, and it goes over everything in a text format, the different types of servers you can have, as well as, you know, how to make a server all in a text format. Now, with that being said, this guide will cover everything you need to know in video format as well, but I do want to have this text guide here because just in case things change, this will work. Nevertheless, once you're on this page, you want to come here and click on a download for your server. That's going to take you to the official download page for the Minecraft Java Edition server jar. To download it, just click on this Minecraft underscore server dot jar file here. The version will change if Minecraft is updated after this video comes out. When you click that, the download will begin. You may need to keep or save this file in the top right of your browser depending on the browser that you're using and you're safe to do that as well because well this is on Minecraft's official website now one thing I do want to mention really really quickly is that the server we're starting here is not up 24 7 it's only up and running when your computer's up and running it also uses your own computer's resources and on top of that it uses your internet connection meaning anyone who plays on this server gets your public IP address and can figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates so with that it's super important that you keep this private but what if you want a server that's up all the time? You don't have to worry about any issues with your hardware or having a good computer to run the server on or having good internet or securing the server. Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash simple to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server the simple way. One of the things we're not going to cover in this video, we're going to link out to a video that does, is port forwarding. And at Simple Game Hosting, you don't have to port forward your server at all. On top of that, you can easily add mods, mod packs, and plugins to your server and customize the server truly any way that you want. Lastly, at Simple Game Hosting, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. Occasionally, you'll run into an issue with your server. You'll add mod, things will break, you'll add a plug-in, and you'll have some sort of weird issue. Well, that's where the Simple Game Hosting support team can come in and help you out. So, stop struggling to host a server via videos like this where you're hosting it on your own computer and all that. Go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash simple to start your Minecraft server the simple way. But if you don't want to use Simple Game Hosting to start your server, what we can do is minimize our browser and we want to move the file we just downloaded to our desktop. Now for me, I know that's going to be in my downloads folder, so I can go ahead and navigate there and move this to my desktop. Once it's there, we want to go ahead and right click and create a new folder on our desktop. I'm just going to name this Minecraft Server, but you can name it anything that you want and move that file into it. Now at this point, you should be able to just double click on this server.jar and it work except if you can't. If for whatever reason it tries to open it with a program or anything like that, what you need to do is download and install Java. Specifically, Java 17 is required for Minecraft modern versions, but if this changes, well then this article will update. This goes over everything you know to get Java, in order to run a Minecraft server. And once you've got it, you may need to run the jar fix in order for that double click to work. So basically, step one, get Java. That's the more complicated part. Step two, download this little program called the jar fix and run it. When you do, it'll link all the jar files to your computer, but you gotta have Java first. So that's where you get Java, then run the jar fix. Nonetheless, at this point, we can go ahead and, well, try to start our server by double clicking that server.jar, but it is gonna fail. It should generate a few of these files though, and the file we want is this ula.txt file. Open this up by double clicking on it or opening it in text edit, and then what you want to do is go to this link, and assuming you agree to it, which we do, we can come here to eula equals false to eula equals true, T-R-U-E exactly like that. And then we can go ahead and click File, Save, and now to start our server, all we've got to do is double click on this server.jar. Once you do that, it's going to open up the basically server kind of management screen here. And we have the console here on the right hand side. We've got some stats and players over here. And you can type in commands here on this little area under the console. And this text box, for example, if you wanted to op yourself, you would simply type op and then your username and then hit enter. So that's a way to give yourself operator and admin permissions on the server. But nonetheless, at this point, you can join your server. Let's go ahead and do that really fast here by opening up Minecraft Java Edition. So here we are, Minecraft is open and the server is started. To join this, we want to go to multiplayer here, click proceed, and then what we want to do is actually come in here and click on add server. Now we're going to name this local connection because, well, we're the only people that can join the server using this connection, but it's a great way to test to make sure things are working. For the server address, you want to type in local host, all one word, all connected exactly like that, and click done. And now we have a local host connection. We can double click on this and it will join the server. We'll see us join in here on the left hand side, and we even have player in the players section. Now we're online. The server is online. It's working. 
working and we'll even have operator because we gave us that earlier when we ran that op permission over here. So for example, I could go into game mode creative if I wanted to. Now, at this point, you're the only person that can join this server. In order for your friends to join it, you'll need to port forward. And of course, in the description down below, there's this, our in-depth guide on how to port forward your Minecraft server. It goes over everything you need to know in both text format and video format. Always kept up to date and super in-depth and definitely the ultimate guide to port forwarding a Minecraft server. So check that out if you do want to port forward and allow your friends to join. We've also got this link in the description, which is how to fix broken Minecraft servers. It's worth checking out if your server is having issues and you want to kind of get some more insight on how to admin a server and things to look out for when Minecraft servers do break. But nevertheless, that's how to get a server up on your computer and join it as well. And uh, like I said, if you want your friends to be able to join, just walk, go watch that port forwarding video and it'll set you up to do that. So nevertheless, we'll see you in the next video. My name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.